Hey Group J, today we're going to do some yoga, a game of quick images, and a making words activity. I'm going to put it all in this one video so you can watch the whole entire thing at once if you want and do the activities, or you can watch a little bit and then pause it when you need a break, come back to it later. I am not wearing funky socks today, but I am wearing a Batgirl cape. And Sonia is wearing her tutu. Thank All right, you. so we're gonna start. We're gonna start with a little yoga. All right, mountain pose like always. Feet parallel, a little ways apart. Back nice and straight and tall. Breathe in. And on the breath out. Arms up. All the way up, all the way up. Reach, 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 but don't hunch your shoulders. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Breathe in. Out and down. Now I'm going to turn and we're going to do Warrior One. Ready? Take a big step forward into Warrior One. Arms up. Good. I am brave. I am bold. I am bold. Arms I to the side bold. into warrior two. I am bold. Deep breath in. Back I nice bold. and straight. Let your arms I'm down, bold. feet together, and step the other way. Warrior one. Arms up. I am a superhero. Breathe in, out, and arms to the side into warrior two. And I'll take a view. Another nice deep breath in, backs nice and straight. Breathe out, arms down, feet together. Give the hands a shake, give one foot a shake, give the other foot a shake, and get ready for some quick images and a making words activity. Okay, here we go with quick images. You actually don't need a paper and pencil for this. Um, this is just a looking and thinking activity. So I'm going to click the timer and you're going to think about how many dots are in the image. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. It only shows it for a few seconds. I'm going to count to three and we're going to take a second look. One, two, three. Okay, did you figure out how many dots were in the image? If not, it's okay because I'm going to click the timer again and this time the image will stay. I'll keep it up for just a minute. Think about how many dots there are. Got it? Okay, I'm gonna go to the next page and I'm gonna show you how I figured out how many dots there were. As I do this, you can think about whether you did the same thing. Or if there's somebody watching with you, you can talk to them about how you figured out how many dots there were. So I'm just going to put these pennies in the 10 frames to match how the image looked. Okay. I think this was it, right? Yeah, this was it. So I figured out that there were 14 dots on the image because in my mind, I moved one of the pennies from this row of five to make a full 10 frame in the top frame. So now I know that there are 10 all together here and I can count on to find out how many there are in the whole image, ready? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I can write an equation to show how I figured it out. 10 
plus four equals 14. Okay, if you'd like, you can pause the video for a minute and write an equation for how you figured it out. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. Ready? Okay, I'm going to show it one more time. Sorry, I didn't say the one, two, three before. One, two, three. Okay, do you think you know how many dots are in the image yet? If not, don't worry. I'm going to hit the timer again, and this time it'll stay. Okay, got it. We're going to go to the next page. And again, I'm going to show you how I figured out how many dots there were. You might have a different strategy. So you can go ahead and talk to somebody about it. You can even just go ahead and talk to the screen about it. So I'm going to set up this 10 frame just how it was in the screen before. I'm noticing that I know for sure that that's a nine. And then there were six on this screen. Hmm, nine plus six. That's not so easy to figure out, but I realized that if I moved this penny up here, I made a 10. That makes it easier. And look, if I move this penny to make a row of five, I have a 10 and a five, which I know is 15. Or I can count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hmm, so first I had nine plus six, and then I turned it into 10 plus five. I'm going to write an equation that matches what I was just thinking. First, I had 9 plus 6. And I figured out that it was the same amount as equal to 10. plus five. I can go a little further here. Watch this, we've never done this in class before. 10 plus five equals 15. Look at that. Now I have this big, long, fancy equation. 9 plus 6 equals 10 plus 5, which equals 15. Okay. If you want, you can take a minute to um, pause and write down your own equation or talk to somebody about how you figured this out. All right. That's it for quick images. Good work, my friends. Next we're going to be doing um, making words, so stay tuned. Okay, Group J, ready to make some words? Look, isn't this funny? All you can see are my hands, the letters, and, of course, my trusty coffee mug. Okay, here are the letters you're going to need for this activity. You can pause the video right now and go get them if you need to. Okay, and so we're gonna start just by practicing the letter sounds. Here's the letter A. What does A say? A. Ah. Here's the letter C. What does C say? 
Good. Now here's CK. This is two letters that make one sound. It's a digraph, like SH or CH or TH. CK says, right. Here's the letter R. R. T. T. S. S. Good. Okay, so we are going to get started making some words, but just a reminder that all of the letters together are going to make a secret mystery word that we will find out at the end. So if you want to think about what that word might be as we go along, you can do that. Also, I want you to know that the words are going to start getting trickier and trickier as we go along. So don't worry if it's taking you a little while to figure them out or if it seems kind of hard. I'm always going to put out the correct spelling in my little workspace here. Okay, so here we go. The first word I want you to make is at. 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 Okay, the second word I want you to make is sat. Yep, you just need to add one sound. At sat. The next word I want you to make is rat. It's going to be one change at the beginning. Rat. Yep. R at rat. Okay, the next word is cat. Another change at the beginning. Cat. K at. Cat. Okay, now it's going to get just a little bit trickier. The next word is scat. Scat. So that's going to be a consonant blend at the beginning of the word. Scat, sk, a, t, scat. For the next word, we're going to have to rearrange some things. The next word is sack, sack. Hmm, I don't hear a k in there. It's not a sk anymore. So I'm going to take out the C. Sack. S -a -k. I'm going to need my CK. All of the words in this series that, um, that we're going to do that have the sound at the end, that's always going to be a CK. Okay, so that's a little clue for you. Sack. The next word is rack. R -a -k. Good. The next one is tack. T -a -k. Okay, a little trickier now. Stack, like a stack of books. Stack. Hmm, that sounds like a consonant blend we've studied. Stack. 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 Good. Okay, now we're going to have to make some changes and um, shift some letters around. We're going to make the word track, like a rabbit track. 
in the snow, and we're getting much closer now to our secret mystery word. Track. Hmm, that's also a consonant blend we've studied. Track. Let's see. Tra, tra, tra. Tra, ack. Track. And our final word, you actually are not going to need this last C. Our final word is tracks. Tracks. Tr, ack, s, tracks. Good, you did it. All done. Okay, Group J, are you ready for a little quiz on the words we just made? I'm going to hold up one card at a time, and when you see it, I want you to read it out loud. Here we go. At. Sat. Rat. Mmm, consonant blend. Think about it. Sk, sk, scat. Digraph at the end. C K K. -k. Mmm. Sack. Rack. Tack. Another consonant blend at the beginning. St, st, stack. Tr, tr, track. And the last one. Tracks. Well done.